So now we're going to log out as a line operator and log in as a supervisor. Now the supervisor has additional functionality and features that are available to them that allow them to analyze the OEE information that's being collected on the floor. Over here we have a menu of options that are available for OEE. What we're going to do is look into the overall equipment effectiveness menu item. Here we'll have a list of pages that the supervisor will have access to to do an analysis on the OEE values on the downtimes. I'd like to demonstrate one of these to you now. We'll view the Gantt viewer. The Gantt viewer allows you to graphically view your downtimes. Now we've configured this to show you the packaging line for the bottles, the PET line. This line has been pre-configured here with an analysis that we've decided on. So we'll go ahead and drill down and view this. Now this screen here is completely configurable as well, so you can have your own pre-configured analysis for your plant. Now let's talk about downtimes. We had a few downtimes as we saw earlier and we're able to assign reasons to them. And we can even see the equipments and whether they were running, had a waiting, or had an electrical fault and so on. Here we'll see that in a Gantt view which allows us to see it based on equipment and on time. So these are the equipments that we have selected and here represents the downtime that we have for that equipment. For example, the first equipment, the blower, is doing very well, has full productive time. But over here in the packer, we're not doing so well. We, we had a, a lot of downtime loss here. We can expand the packer, which will give us further reasons. Unknown reason and running. So that's two downtimes that we saw in this one. And if we focus on the filler that we were looking at earlier when we created a downtime, we can expand that as well and we can see that we had a running, unknown, and fault. And we can expand fault and see there was an electrical fault and hydraulic fault in the time period that it occurred in. The information on this screen can also be exported into a CSV file that can be opened by Microsoft Excel. We can also print this to the printer so you can show this to your line operators to show you that there was a downtime at this period we need to investigate why because we don't have a good reason yet. So this is one of the tools that are available for operators and shift supervisors to analyze the data that's available. Now this is the real-time analysis. We also have a set of out-of-the-box OEE reports that can be utilized as well. These reports are built on Microsoft SQL Server Reporting Services and our standard out of the box. So let's go ahead and head there now. So here's the reporting main menu which lists all the OEE reports that are available. These OEE reports, like I said, are out of the box, ready to be run as soon as you install the system. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be constricted to this. Like I said, this was built on Microsoft SSIS reporting services, which means you can have extensions to these reports. You can include additional reports that are more relevant to your plant. So what I'd like to do now is show you one of these reports. We'll focus on the downtime report here, which is a runtime subdivision according to the time model. So we can go ahead and drill down this will open up the report with a few filters. We have a start and end date, as well as equipment. We'll go ahead and select the equipment that we're interested in. As you can see, we have quite a few here. What I'll do is go ahead and select all the equipment, because I want to see all that information on my report. We'll go ahead and click View Report to generate the report now. As this report is being generated, a few things I'd like to mention is it can be exported as a PDF file, it can be exported into Excel as a web page, it can be shared amongst company, inside the company, for 
email blasts or if you need some information you need to share with management. So here we see the downtime report. Here we, at the very beginning we have our time model that shows you the total time, the non-working time versus factory calendar time and it just drills down and drills down till you finally see your overall fully productive time. This is a very important chart to help you analyze just how efficient your plan is running. Over here we have the legend that gives you the total times and percentages. So this is a very useful tool to analyze why you're having uh, a loss in productivity. If we fur go further down here we have additional graphs here that will help you visualize the information as a pie chart or on a graph. So this is one of the out-of-the-box reports that are available for OEE collection. And like I said, you can save this as a PDF, or a CSV, or a web page, or an Excel, or a Word document, which you can then use as a, in an email blast to management, or if you need to share this information with the line operators. It allows you to report on this information and react to it.